Hello digital note takers and welcome back to my channel. In a fast paced world filled with endless distractions and demands, finding a way to center ourselves and make sense of our thoughts can be a daunting task. And this is where journaling comes in as a powerful tool for self-reflection, self-discovery and personal growth. Writing things down and manage them outside your head is very important because it helps you to visualize your thoughts, projects and the steps you have to follow to achieve the final result. This process will lead you to ask yourself questions like, are my daily actions aligning with my bigger goals? Or what can I do differently? In this video, I want to share with you my Obsidian templates for my daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly reviews. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. All right, let's get into it. First of all, let me show you which community plugins I use for my daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly reviews. So let's go to the settings, community plugins, browse. And the first one is the calendar plugin. Now, this plugin allows me to quickly open specific daily or weekly notes. The second one is the periodic notes here. And this plugin will help me to manage the daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly notes. And lastly, the templater plugin that we already saw in one of my previous video that allows me to create functional templates for my notes. Okay, let's start from the calendar plugin. And this is how I set it. Basically, I want my week to start from Monday. Then I enable this option since I prefer to receive a confirmation model before I create a new note. And I want to see a column inside the calendar that show me the number of the week. Before I jump to the periodic notes options, I want to show you my folder structure where my notes are stored. And I have a main folder called journal. And inside it, I created four different subfolders, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. Now let's open the periodic notes settings. And here, I enable the daily, the weekly, the monthly, and the yearly notes. As you can see, you can also create the quarterly notes, but I personally don't use them. Here, you can specify the format and the folder in which your notes will be created. For my daily notes, I use this format that shows me the year, the number of the month, and the number of the day. And for these notes, I want to use the daily folder. For the weekly notes, this is the syntax I use with the year and the number of the week, and I use the weekly folder. For the monthly notes, I use the syntax that shows me the year and the number of the month, and I use the monthly folder. And for the yearly notes, I just want to see the year, and of course, I use the yearly folder. Lastly, in the templater settings, you need to specify which template you want to use for the notes that will be created in the daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly folders. So let's jump to the templates. And let's start from the daily note templates. But first, I want to tell you that you will find all the template scripts you will see in this video in my Discord. You will find the link in the description down below. So first of all, I have four properties. If you're not familiar with them, check my video where I explain what they are and how you can use them. As you can see, in this case, I wrote the properties in classic YAML format because I used a little hack I discovered thanks to an article on Medium written by TFT Hacker. You can find the link in the description down below. Basically, instead of enclosing the front matter metadata with classic three dashes, I use a less than and percentage sign at the beginning and the percentage and greater than sign at the end of the line. This will prevent Obsidian from detecting metadata in a template and this is very useful when you use data view queries, but this is something that we will see in a future video. With that being said, the first property you see is the tags property. For this note, I use the daily note tag. Then I have a checkbox for my habit. After that, I have a number field to keep track of my weight. And lastly, I have another number field to keep track of my YouTube subscribers. I keep track of this stuff inside the property section because I can visualize this data by using Obsidian charts and heatmap calendar plugins. 
I will leave the link to an article I published on Medium last week about these two plugins and how I use them to keep track of my habits. After the properties, I have an H1 heading with the today's date. Right after, I like to have three different internal links. The first one is an internal link to the yesterday daily notes, followed by a link to the weekly notes of the current week, and lastly, a link to the tomorrow daily note. Then I have a callout with a random daily quote in it generated by this simple script. After the quote, I have my to do section. I use Todoist for that, and if you would like to see how you can integrate Todoist in Obsidian, you can watch my last video. Link in the description down below. And right after the to do sections, I have the highlights of the day callout that is a simple data view query that groups up my highlights from articles, podcasts, books, synced through Readwise. Next week, I will publish a video about Readwise and how I use it in Obsidian, so stay tuned. But for now, I leave a link to an article I wrote on Medium in the description down below where you can see how I highlight and sync my podcast notes using Snipped, Readwise, and Obsidian. You will also find a link to try one month of Snipped Premium for free. I love this app, and if you are a podcast listener, maybe you would like to try it out. Let's go back to our template, and here I have another section called On This Day. It's a data view query that shows me the daily notes I created the same day in the past years. Lastly, I have three H2 headings. The daily log is where I save all my quick capture by using the community plugin called QuickAd. You can see how it works in one of my previous videos about QuickAd. The notes section is where I do a process of self-reflection and review my day, what I accomplished, and what I need to improve, and so on. And the tomorrow section is where I jot down the things that I need to remember for the next day. Now, let's see how the template looks like when you create a new daily note. So you go to the calendar, you click here on the day, create, and here we go. You have your daily notes ready with the yesterday link and tomorrow link and the link to the current week. You have the quote of the day, you have your to-do section, you have your highlight section, and you have on this day. And if you click here, you will see the notes from the 2022. So let's move on to the weekly template. The base structure is like the daily template with the difference that I use only the tags property field with the weekly notes tag. I don't need to see my to-dos and I don't need a daily log section. For the H1 heading, I want to see the year and the number of the week. So I just need this script because remember that the format is already defined inside the periodic notes plugin and applied to the title of the file thanks to the calendar plugin. After the H1 heading, I have two different links. One is an internal link to the previous week and the other is an internal link to the next week. And this is the syntax. Then I have a callout that contains the internal links to each daily note of the week. My first day of the week is Monday and I create the weekly note every Sunday. So the script is written based on that. Lastly, I have the two H2 headings that have the same function that we already saw in the daily template. So let's try this template and click here on the calendar, click on the week number, create, and here we go. You have your weekly note with the internal link to the previous and the next week. So if I click here, I will jump to the 42 week. And here we go. And here you can have all the link to the daily notes, Monday, and then you have the Tuesday and so on. Now let's jump to the next template that is the monthly note template. And here the big difference is the title section because we can't use the calendar plugin to create the monthly notes. 
And this means that we need an alternative method to write the title of the file that will be used to write the H1 heading automatically by templater. Basically, when I create a monthly note inside the proper folder, so in my case, the monthly folder, I will receive a prompt where I write the name of the file that will also be used automatically as H1 heading of the note. And this is the script. After the H1 heading, I have the same internal links, but this time one is an internal link to the previous month and the other is an internal link to the next month. Then I have a callout that contains the internal links to each weekly note of the month. And this is the script. And lastly, I have the same H2 headings. So let's try the template. If I create a new note inside the monthly folder, I will call it 2023.10 because it's October. And you have the monthly note here. And if I click here to previous month, I will go to the 2023.9, so to September. And here we go. You have your monthly note here. And if I open this call out, I will see all the weekly notes that I had, the 36, you have the 37, the 38, and so on. Now, lastly, let's move to our yearly note template. The title section is the same as the title section we saw in the monthly template. After the H1 heading, I have the two internal links, one for the previous year and the other is for the next year. And then I have a callout that contains the internal links to each monthly note of the year. And this is the syntax. Keep in mind that I create the yearly note in December, so the script is written based on that. Lastly, the two H2 headings that we already saw in the other template. So let's try it out. I will create a new note here inside the yearly folder and I will call it 2023. And here we go. You have the yearly note with the internal link to the previous year and the next year. And you will have the internal link to each monthly note of the year. These are just a few examples that can inspire you in the creation of your own personal templates that you will create according to your needs. Okay, folks, we arrived at the end of another video. Remember to follow me on X, Mastodon, and Medium for more productivity, PKM, and not taking content. You can also find me in the Paperless Movement community as iCore Expert. I will leave all the links in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know how you review your days, weeks, months, and years in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.